Hello, my name is Spencer, and I've kept quiet too long about something that's happening here in America that you ought to know about. You've all heard the word occultism. It means hidden. In this country, occultism has become, or a percentage of it has become, a swindle. A particular group of people run what is known as National Corporation. Their president at the moment is President Steve McConnell of North Carolina. This is being controlled by two families. The other one I don't know. Every state, the lower 48, has mostly two presidents and council members. They use a method, a technology of thought form. Every physical object has what is known as an astral counterpart. This system is run on the electrical grid. Without the electrical grid, the system would not run. Every house, every hospital, every doctor's examination room, your vehicles, the markets, there is wiring, there are cameras, these cannot be seen normally by the physical eye. You will need astral vision. Some have it, some don't. The majority of people in this organization do not have a high spiritual development. They are of instinctive mind. There are some intellectuals and there are probably some scattered natural psychics who run crews. Starting on January 1st, 1977, and the story begins before this, the Akashic Records became available to National Corporation. The Akashic Records is a record of everything you have ever done thought of action everything your crimes your transgressions your errors your mistakes your good deeds who you are in general The word or phrase Akashic Record began in 1885 and it was coined by the Theosophical Society. This is all checkable on Wikipedia. It is really called the Akash or Akashi. These come from Sanskrit terms where occultism was introduced to the world approximately 5,000 years ago. What I'm trying to tell you is, these people come to you, and they come to you first in your ears. They have a system of speakers, microphones, something called handhelds, which they must put to their foreheads so they can see. They also have an activity called screening. Everyone is assigned a phone number. So anybody from anywhere who does this screening and has your phone number or access to the Akashic Records, which all members of National do, plus the subsidiary groups, franchises, Hoffman Street, Occult Hive, and circle. This is nothing but a money scam. And they say 
they want to help you. They'll say, everybody needs help. Corporations need money. Let me tell you something. The day I pay real money for invisible products is the day I can pay invisible money for real guitars. And that's that. They will take you through a trip. They will break you down, make you admit everything you've ever done, and then tell you you're going to go help people. They will force you to actively seek relationships, which is harvesting souls. Now, I'm putting myself at great personal risk telling you this, but this country is worth it. And I selflessly will risk myself to get this message out, and it will get out. When I tell you everything is wired, everything is wired. 6% of the entire country has been involved in this at some point or another. Like I said, they got access January 1st, 1977 with a 50-year agreement, which is coming due January 1st, 2027. Those records will be shut off. It is a mirror from the astral plane. The astral plane is not a place, but a mental state. And like the notes on a music bar, you know the notes in, in a musical scale, there are thousands of mental states. The reincarnational system works basically like this. You start out at physical, you then go through the seven steps to astral. You go through those steps to prana. Prana is vital life force and it is given off by your aura and your body. After prana comes the instinctive mind. This is when you begin your birth and death. Pardon me, as I was explaining before I got interrupted, they are everywhere. They can look up any person in the world as long as they lived after January 1st, 1977. Anybody who died before that, their records are not available. You will soon come to figure out if you are part of this organization my records are not available. I was introduced to this nightmare in 1988. And they have tried to extort money from me back then and in the last five years. In that five years, I was able to convince 3,655 people, 3, people to leave that group Hoffman Street because I put up one hell of a fight. You see, these people aren't psychics. and They don't have the ability to fight this off. And that's why most of you involved in it gave up. They have things like negative treatment, which is basically an electrical, uh, a thought form wire in the back. A very low voltage, milliwatt thing that makes you think you're, you make it nauseous. But if you're strong, never give in. They only want your money. They have phrases like corporations need money, group security, comes with the territory. And Steve McConnell, President Steve McConnell, delusional asshole that he is, thinks he can abuse the Akashic record, the Akashi, 
and get away with this. His crimes are numerous. They call them apologies. I have 57. In this life. And I'm not proud of it. The people I've talked to in this group have well from anywhere from 15,000 to, to, to quarter of a, over a quarter of a million. That would be Michael Leonard, born in Lubbock, Texas, who now lives in Iowa. His wife, Marguerite Leonard, and his son, Zeke Leonard. They have a handful of people still with them. Victor Castillo, Steve Moscholsky, Frank Moscholsky, Caesar Corona. Yes. Now, this activity they do called screening came in around 1967 with picture. This was a real picture and it was toned down to a cartoon-like thing because of people were getting sick and nauseous. Do you understand that you cannot use the Akashic Record in this way? The Akashic Record is used for your personal growth and helping people does not cost money. These people are millionaires a hundred times over. This guy Steve and his family, his immediate circle. They want for nothing. Except they want your soul and your money and your check and you will pay rent, tax, they will charge you for the equipment and they will charge you a sales tax which they don't pay. And if you're paying into this let me tell you something, with the apologies and crimes and terror you cause people outweigh their help, you're doing something wrong. And I want you to know, everybody is not aware of the criminal activity that they're participating in. They call it helping people. Let me tell you something, if I want your help, I will ask for it. And asking for help once is not a lifetime commitment of a basically indentured servitude. They have their own set of rules, fines. They got you jumping from one stone to the next. They got all kinds of things they call pushes. Everybody's looking at you. We're going to do this to you. We're going to do that to you. We have paper out on you. I am not scared of these chuckleheads. They are paper tigers and they are using occultism in a way like a degraded form of voodoo. I want you to know that I fear them not and none of them have the stones to come after me. I have challenged them many times. I beat McConnell's best fighter he still didn't back out. It's a welter. You are suckers for paying money into this. There's nothing wrong with occultism. Studied properly. The books of William Walker Atkinson, which are banned in that corporation, are the books. You, the best book to start with is The Yogi Science of Breath. You will see the title backwards. It was, it's written by Yogi Ramacharakra. That is William Walker Atkinson. And the 14 Lessons of Yogi Philosophy. This is where you start. There are other books. One in particular called Clairvoyance and Occult Powers. Published in 1916. This book are general applications and how to do this stuff. Not everybody can. You must be trusted by the universe to have these gifts. These people 
are opportunists and extortion artists. And they are ruining, if you are involved in this, you have no idea how they are wrecking your soul. What they call pushing is mental torture. That's all it is. And they will break you down. They've got me to the point of tears, worry. But I wake up every day and I'm still breathing air. And I'm not gonna succumb to this. So I'm gonna expose this. They have projectors. These things they call parties are Akashic bludgeonings. They speak of none of your good deeds. Only the bad things you have done. They do this, six people, they call them projects. You are a project at one time. You are people. They will call it the sacrificial lamb. The only people being, the only things being sacrificed here are human beings. You look at anything involving the Akashi, and it involves your life only. It is nobody else's business what you've done to someone else 20 years or 40 years ago. It doesn't excuse you. You have to pay your karma. But I can't sit back idly and being of sound mind and body I am not under any psychiatric care. It took a long time to process this. First of all, if you are part of this, stop it. Let it go. Walk away from it. Because all they want is your money and they can't catch you all. You are not helping people. You are hurting them. When you're dead is when you're supposed to come to terms with the things you've done in this life. Or feel so, you could personally have regrets and remorse and, and feel sorry or apologize to people. But they will get you to do this to others. And in turn it just mushrooms and mushrooms. They harvest souls. Every book I have read from William Walker Atkinson and his pseudonyms Swami Panchadasi, Theron Q. Dumont, Yogi Ramesharakra, and Bhakti Vishta. <laughs> Bhakti Vishta, so something like that. These books explain to you exactly never for fame, never for money, woe is the fate of the black magician. You have been deluded and tricked, and it's time this stopped. You don't have to believe me. Those of you who know, already know. Those of you who don't know will think this is the craziest story of life. Invisible wires, this and that. Everybody's heard something. You know there is a connection between us all. You see it in your dreams. You see it through deja vu. There are many things. You get gut feelings. You have chakras. But I'm not here to teach you occultism proper. I'm going to unlearn this behavior. You need to unlearn this. Whether you're a president, and there's too many damn presidents. They're like regional managers. These parties they throw, I took one for 12 weeks, 24-7. I never gave in. And they used every trick they had in the book. And I still stand strong. And right now, Hoffman Street is a dead issue. National is the largest. And nobody has come for me. Because I'm not afraid.
for 32 years I have listened to their crap. I have regular hearing, but I also have, and due to the amount of incarnations I have and the studies I've done throughout my lifetimes, I have some gifts. I need not discuss them with you. All I know is you must pay attention. Stop sending them money. Put down those Akashic records because they're gone in seven years, six and a half years, gone. They have misused them and there will be no renewal. The Akashic record has always been available to certain souls of a high degree. It is just a mirror. And it can be amended in ways. He, he runs the whole, he has a switching system in his house. He can't prove me wrong. He had to close my records, which they should be closed. So, for right now, this is all I can tell you. Later, I will tell you about individual experiences. You need not fear them, and you need not pay them. You remember. It's all sloganism and lies. They will threaten you with the police this with that about every little stupid thing you've ever done and everybody's done something they're embarrassed about I don't care who we are we make mistakes as they say we're all sinners but judge not lest you be judged he who is out sin can cast the first stone now that's the Christian way I embrace all the world's religions they are important. This group gives favoritism to Christians. Everybody else is on their own. And as I sit here before you, I know I put myself at some sort of risk because they do have a percentage of crazy people in this group. It's the way it goes. So, in my life, the main cast of characters are Steve, President Steve McConnell, his son, who is not of the same character. He seems like a nicer guy, but we'll see. Michael Leenart, ex-president of Hoffman Street. They were the second largest group they fucked with me hard. That was the end of that. Occult Hive in the Northeast and Circle. The smallest group recognized. The rules change according to their needs. I suggest you stop taking blood money. Hard-working Americans have it hard enough to pay their bills. The, the vice president of Hoffman Street, Steve Powers, and his wife, Susan Powers of Burbank, have been taking the food cards of these people on Social Security and keeping it. And if you don't think I've reported that to the Inspector General of Social Security, you're wrong. I have. I've called the Marcus. That guy is going to be dead in the water. He, these two are smoking more methamphetamine than you've ever seen. They sell it, or used to, and Michael Lienar took 25% of the profits. And this is their breakdown. Michael gets 75%. Steve gets 
the foot soldier never gets anything but more credit. And that credit is used for either equipment or drugs. That's how they can stay up so long. They work in shifts and they can stay on you. And they have been on me pretty much for 32 years through my best times and worst times. I've never been healthier. I've never been saner. This is no delusion. It may sound crazy to you. Go to Gutenberg.org. Search William Walker Atkinson. There you will find 19 free books that will explain what I'm talking about. Not about this thing, what they're doing. The proper use of occultism. Christians would call it divination. There are all kinds of misconceptions. Everybody has a piece of the puzzle. But the truth is, we are all responsible to everyone else. We are individuals growing in this system. And you will have many lifetimes. And I mean many. And you will die in ways that you can't imagine. Famine, disease, pestilence. You will commit crimes. And you will have to have a conscience. And you will feel remorse. Those who do not feel genuine remorse usually don't change in the next existence. And bad things will happen to them in the next life. Your karma, you will pay. For now, this is me, and I'm telling you what's going on. It is a swindle for money, and if you all stop paying, Because your records are going to run out in seven years. And you're just going to have to do it the way they did it before. And that's sticking the wire right into the body. And maybe yeah, you're going to have to think about the things you did for them to figure it out. Sound came in in the 30s. The tube is the main thing that runs these pieces of equipment. Like I said, they have voltage regulators. This is a code word for a shock device. I get shocked every day. And I laugh in their face. Because the gifts I have, <laughs> they do not. And I would never teach the art of self-defense to these people chimps, the biggest knuckle draggers I have ever seen. Those of you who think you're helping people, you may believe that, but you're not. You can't do what you want, because you got to follow McConnell's rules. So, he does, he tells you what to do, not me. McConnell, Leonard, Powers, and the powers are big problems here. During a pandemic, they're taking the food stamps away from these people on Social Security. I know I went to junior high school with them. I know them. I've met them. And there are some I won't talk about, and I'm not going to name them. Just the people who are in charge of this mess. And some of the biggest violators, like the Moscholskis. Everybody knows who I'm talking about. And if you don't, start reading those books. And understand what psychic influence is. Number one, it's not. It's peer pressure. It doesn't cost money to help people. 
All you need to do is send a good vibration and breathe properly. And it's done like this. You think of someone. And that's all you do. You do it for a little bit. And it releases melatonin in the brain. And they feel better. People do need help. But not necessarily a lifetime of a bill that never stops coming. McConnell, you're done for. Your group will be exposed. And I selflessly risk myself for the good of this country. Because this is an aberration. shame you should feel should reverberate around the country and no violence please do not take your frustrations out physically on others or anybody I've named ignore them I call for no physical action other than stopping this behavior Do you hear me? Do not, I repeat, do not take your anger out on people or these people. Do not use the occult to take your anger out of these people. You want to hit them? Hit them in the pocketbook. Turn off the money. Shut off the flow of money. That's what they crave. And you deserve to keep your money. Screening into other people's houses is peeping. Why do we need doors and shades? For privacy. But you have none. They take people who they can convince. Talk to you soon. Because this will never end. My conversation of these books and how to properly use occultism in positive ways. No more national corporations. No more Hoffman Street. No more presidents. This has got to stop. And they're going to get their cut off come within six and a half years. Y'all better know that. I don't know what possessed me to go through this. Who needs it? I know it sounds crazy. I'm not. Okay? I just wanted peace of mind and asked them nicely to leave. They disrupted my life to the point they got my blood pressure up to one time 175 over 102. I have since then learned how to deal with them because I'm stronger mentally. And I can <laughs> do things to them. When they attack me, I get them. Self-defense, I accrue no apology. And I have no remorse for defending myself. And neither should you. Protect yourselves, protect your family. Put down these Akashic records. They weren't meant for you. The universe tests us in many ways. So the Lord works in mysterious ways. I guarantee you. Jesus Christ. God. Yahweh. Jah. Jehovah. Lord Shiva. Krishna, one God, all people, known by many names. America is founded on Judeo-Christian values. This is the most anti-Christian thing I have ever seen. 
every building in this country is wired. The courthouses, the hallways where people confer with their attorneys. I judge no individual, but this is a collective thing and it is caught on like wildfire. Mike Leonard can't go east of the Mississippi. And if I have my way, he's not going to be going anywhere. He's 76 years old, and he wants to be on the battlefield with me. <laughs> I'm the only one who has the balls to fucking tell you this. I hope you listen, because I'm being sincere. Y'all have a nice day. And no more human projects. You concern yourself with your own life and improve yourself. And if everybody just worked on themselves and paid the good vibe forward, that is better than saying something I did when I was 12. The induction process, which the true meaning of induction is the inherent quality of object A to set up a corresponding vibration in object B without direct physical contact. That is a short version. Their induction is like a lifetime of servitude. Remember, money's what they need. Cut off their money they got no business. And I'm not scared of any one of their little onslaughts. Because I've been through them. And they ain't nothing. Learn how to breathe proper. Breathing proper into the nose and out to the mouth. The first word, OM, its meaning is God. And you may look that up in Wikipedia. So to all you, I wish you peace, inside and out. Be kind to others in your thoughts and in your actions. In self-defense, the rules of engagement are clear and it is absolute. You may protect yourself by any means necessary, but don't break physical laws or you will end up in the jail. I'll be back. You have a nice day.